beautiful friends and welcome back to your favorite channel I hope <laughs> so today I want to look at another contestant from the show super vocal you requested to look at memory um, I'm trying to keep up with all of your requested wishes and today we're gonna jump right into it Isn't that La Vie en Rose? Okay. Dimash has concurrence. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Just one stop. I'm a little bit surprised right now because that was something that I didn't, you know, I, I wouldn't thought that he would sing it in, in, in uh, falsetto, right? <laughs> okay, one quick information prior. Um, falsetto, we say it when we use it for male. For female, we like to use the term head voice. Well, everyone uses different terms, every teacher has different backgrounds. Wikipedia has something different to say. <laughs> But um, so far from my studies, uh, back in school, etc. Falsetto is for male, head voice falsetto is for female. So we would say falsetto. Very beautiful, accurate, and clean and, and powerful falsetto this young man has. Wow. Very clear. Pitch perfect. But I, I knew what happiness was. His Chinese of, of singing voice would sound a little bit more darkener than the, the well there is a tone change right but still I think it sounded very much different when he was singing in his uh, own language so you see well that's always what I preach in every time on the channel different different um, different languages can have sometimes very different outcomes 
in singing, in sound, in tone, in tongue, etc. Slightly some, um, uh, I don't know the English word, concurrence, concurrence, a competition. So there's a little bit of competition going on here, right? <clears throat> it's always mesmerizing to see a man singing actually in the upper register because usually when puberty hits, testosterone kicks in and it lowers and it lowers the voice, it changes the voice, and the changes in the voice are very obvious. So and a lot of male have problem to reach um, after this the the upper register. So a lot of people have troubles with it so that's why voice teachers encourage to to work through puberty so that register break won't have a big affection on your singing voice right so you can still maintain a little bit of the upper register and um yeah maybe you won't have that whistle anymore right? but you can still maintain it and especially in classical music it's it's really beautiful there um it always reminds me of F farinelli right? i love that movie and i love um, I, I love Cecilia Bartoli seeing the soundtrack to it. Okay, so let me give me give you one exercise for head voice for practicing a little bit your clean head voice, and then we have to stop because I'm having a student coming actually in five minutes. Oh, let me just rush that through. Okay, just gonna go make it on we. So that's a register descending the register down. Yeah. That's something that you can do. I think I've done it somewhere in another exercise, but um, also in a Dimash video, I think. So that's a register on a five scale, which is a big jump. But try to maintain when you go down to stay on your head voice. And try to make it as clear as possible. Don't go, get weak by the offset. So don't go weak towards the end of that exercise. Yeah, so it's over. And not that's a common thing that people and then they just pull air out. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I have to rush right now through because I have a student coming in five minutes exactly. Guys, subscribe to this channel. Thumbs up. Amazing. I love Super Vocal. I want to see more, more, more. Write it all down in the comment section. Write me on Instagram. I'm also on Instagram. I'm so sorry I have to rush through, guys. Mwah. Big kisses from me in Singapore and i see you in my next video. Well, this is the first time that I heard memory in, in Chinese, partially, because I heard it in German and in English, but never in Chinese. Bye, my friends. Thanks so much. Sorry.